Okay, another video on angular and linear velocities. This is problem number 15, three gear problems. The general equation is linear velocity equals radius times angular velocity. However, angular velocity has to be in radian measure. Or I could divide both sides by radius and see angular velocity is linear velocity divided by radius. A couple key concepts, if I have two gears, with the same axle or center point, they have equal angular velocities, or if I have two gears connected by a belt or a chain, they have equal linear velocities. So in this problem, I have both of those cases. So I have gears one, two, and three labeled here, and then gear one turns at 200 RPM. So I'm gonna write that down, angular velocity of gear one is 200 revolutions per minute, I know it's angular velocity because it's an amount of rotation over time. What is, the first question is, what is the velocity in radians per second? I'm just going to multiply one revolution, two pi rads. That's going to give me radians per minute, one minute over 60 seconds. Minutes will cancel, revolutions cancel, and that gives me radians per second. So, let's see what that is. I have 200 times 2 pi divided by 60. And that gives me, I'm just going to round here, 20.9, so 21 radians per second. Okay? Part B in that question says, what is the linear velocity of gear one? So linear velocity of gear one is equal to its radius, which is given it the linear velocity of teeth on gear one at a distance 13 millimeter from its axle. So I have 13 millimeters, that's a radius. So my linear velocity of gear one is 13 millimeters times this angular velocity in radians. So my linear velocity will be uh, 21 times 13, or 272. Radians drop out millimeters per second. This part C of the question says, gear one's teeth mess with gears two teeth. So these two gears right here touch. They have to have equal linear velocity. Um, the radius of gear two is three millimeters. I want to write that down. What's the linear velocity of gear two? Well, if they touch and the gears mesh, they have to have equal linear velocity. So that's the answer. Linear velocity for gear one and gear two is 272 millimeters per second. And then lastly, it says, what is gear two's angular velocity? So angular velocity of gear two will be its linear velocity, 272 millimeters per second, divided by radius. Well, I'm gonna multiply by the reciprocal. So I divide by three millimeters, and that's gonna give me uh, 272 divided by the three is 90.7 or 91 no units in the numerator, so it has to be radians per second, right? So no units in the numerator, it has to be radians. So angular velocity of gear two is 91 radians per second. Uh, what is the angular velocity of gear three? Well, the two gears are connected by an axle or the center point's the same, so they spin around the same center. So they have to have equal angular velocity. So angular velocity at gear three is 91 rads per second. If I want a linear velocity at gear three, linear velocity at gear three would be its angular velocity times this radius. So there's an angular and linear velocity problem, two gears connected by an axle and two gears at mesh.